first try. Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you didn't watch the previous video, Lachlan and I bought ourselves a 1989 GQ Nissan Patrol. And today, I'm gonna show you what exactly we bought, every little problem that it has. The thing is filthy as hell as well, so we're gonna give it a nice vacuum. We also potentially might paint the bull bar in today's video. Look at these 35 inch muddies. Hey, it's stationary here. Nice, the handbrake doesn't work by the way, so I have to get in the spot where it would not roll back. <laughs> So guys, here it is. The car is an absolute mess. This thing was driven to its fullest of potential. And yeah. Now the main reason why we bought it was to use as a tow rig and potentially later in the line, I do want to actually take it off road. This car definitely has seen better days, but today we're going to take it back to looking a little bit nicer. It is filthy as in here, as you can see. So we're going to firstly give it a vacuum and hopefully we can find some goodies in this thing. We also have a spare seat that the previous owner gave us. So we're going to chuck that in as well as the front driver's seat is pretty uh, knackered. You can see there's a massive hole in there. You can actually see the metal. Do you guys see that? It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Comfy. <laughs> Let's get started. So just vacuuming the back looks really good. However, every time I hop out the car and step onto the, the ground, my feet are really slippery. Feels like there's some like oil embedded into the carpet. Because it's a manual soft patrol, he bought the manual gearbox, stored it in the back and then swapped it. And he's just let all the, the transmission fluid go in and soak into the, the, the carpet. So I'm gonna take the carpet out and try to give it a clean. Yeah. It's so wet, bro. Dude. Yuck. How do you clean that? It's like soaked into the fucking... Oh, that's soaked, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Let's take that whole thing out. Yeah, I will. I'm going to take that whole run thing. in the water. I need to get the self-tappers out. Oh, yuck, man. Oh. Bro, it's caked. Oh. I kind of want to put new carpet in it. That's gross. Oh, yuck. Look at my hands, they're glistening. Guys, look at this, this is ridiculous. There was just self tappers for days, embedded in the carpet, underneath the carpet. The mans did not give a fuck. He would have just been wanting to install shit. Not giving a fuck. <laughs> So this carpet here is caked in transmission fluid. You can already see what's coming out of this thing. Shit. That's legit oil, bro. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just coming off. So I'm just gonna spray it off. Deleted. Like, yeah, I don't think we're gonna, we're not saving that, bro. <laughs> Well guys, we are done cleaning this rig. Thing is looking 10 out of 10 now. Unfortunately, there's a bunch of stains on the seats that I tried to wet back, but they just didn't come out. But we vacuumed the hell out of this thing. There's still a bunch of dirt just at the bottom of the carpets and stuff that we just can't get out. But definitely 10 times better than what we had previously. It didn't really have a smell to it. It didn't smell like my AU Falcon when I bought it. I guess the people that own this were just, you know, in the bush and dirty, not actually like too gross. <laughs> All right, guys, look who it is. This is Chloe. <laughs> and this is her reaction to the tough rig. It's fucking huge. Show them what you did before. I should have got on camera, but. It's like the tire 
Or it's like me size. It's you size. It's bigger than me sized. Like, look. Yeah, we need to get rid of the, the 35s. We need to put 33s on there. What are you gonna do with this? Gonna use it as a tow car. It's fucking huge and gross. Huge and gross? Yeah. That's so like mean. You. <laughs> he says this is clean. Yes. I don't believe that. I did my best job, but. It has that gross car smell. No, it doesn't. It smells good. It doesn't. It didn't have a smell. It smells like gross. No, it I smells think good. You, I think you've just gotten used to it. It's I don't think it smells bad. Well, you work on no. cars every day. You're used to it. This, gross. Nah, it's mint. I like how there's a big handlebar right there. Yeah, it's an ocean handle. Oh, it doesn't even want to start now. What the fuck? <laughs> it's actually not starting! Oh my god. So what a surprise that it's not starting. Fuck's sake! Yeah, let's try this. Dear God. Dear God. I already don't like it because I feel Oh, what the fuck? So high up off the ground. There's a check right engine light. Oh, cool. Oh. That's not good. Oh, that's just a handbrake. Never oh, my God. Wait, what? Oh, do you? Oh, God. <laughs> so, it's got extractors on it. So, it sounds really good. I don't know if it's got an exhaust leak or something like that, but it's it's got a really good note. And even on gas, it sounds just as good. I don't know if putting it on the gas makes a difference, but it's sick. I think it's... Oh, what? No! Oh my god, stop! Anyway. <laughs> it's, ah. a, it's a four-wheel drive. I don't... That doesn't mean I want to drive on the sidewalk. Oh my god. How small do I look compared to the car? So small. Actually? Yep. Is it the same? Are you, is it taller than you? Uh, I think it is taller than me. Yeah, you wanna? Is it taller? No, you're still taller. Nice. I don't know how. Because I'm a tough rig. <laughs> <laughs> got him! Alright guys, we are back. It's now the next day and I've got Lachlan here. We're gonna sand the bull bar and paint it today. Lachlan's just removing this jank as light bar and we're gonna get to sanding. Oi, oi, why are you putting uh, tools on the on the bonnet, fam? On our mint condition bonnet. <laughs> Dan, look, I showed the camera. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Clearly I've been doing the hard work. All right guys, of course with the new car, we have some new merch. So we have some Tough Rig stickers right here. I have a sus of that. Got the Tough Rig in holographic. And we also have the Tough Rig Banky banners. So we're gonna chuck one of these on. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. They look way better under this material that is currently over it. Once you put the sticker on, it's gonna look sick. So very keen, let's chuck this on. <laughs> We have the sticker now installed. The banner is on there. It's really cloudy right now, but trust me when this thing is in the sunlight, it is crazy. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I'll chuck these images up on the screen. This is what they look like in the sunlight. We also have the small one over here. They're gonna be live on the bankyspec.com website. Right now, tough rig. Best way to help show support for the channel. Anyway, let's get to painting this bull bar. So we have the first coat of primer on now. It's looking pretty flat. We definitely needed two cans of primer, but that's all right. We're just gonna try douse the thing in black paint. It's looking pretty dang good. Pretty smooth to the touch as well. I think we're just gonna send it with the black paint and hope for the best. Uh, we, we, got, we got Drake in the house. What's up, Drake? How you going? It's funny because I actually think your name is Drake, I reckon. No, it's not Drake, it's fucking Daniel. It's really Drake. <laughs> Alright, his name is actually Daniel, but we call him Drake because he drives around a Merc and he looks like Drake. I'm outside in the AMG. I'm outside. 
<laughs> Alright, so we're pretty much done painting this bull bar. It's looking pretty spicy. Um, we've, I don't know, spent a good couple hours on it. We laid some clear on it, a couple coats of primer, a couple coats of black as well. We should have probably got more primer, but that's alright. Um, but I'm super happy with it. We're gonna have to let it dry for a couple days, so we actually won't be able to put it back on the car um, for at least another two or three days. If you actually hit it, Oh, he, so Daniel wants to jump over it. But bro, if you hit it, yeah. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> I legit will, I'll be, bro. Go on, man. This is gonna end so bad. Dude, don't, don't uh, cook it. Just wait, wait, wait. If you hit it, if you hit it with your foot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright guys, we have the bull bar resting in the garage now, drying. So we won't be able to put this on, but dang, it's looking really nice. Someone made a comment on the other video as well about how we should delete the bull bar. Look, I see the appeal. It actually looks kind of good. The bull bar makes it look extra tough. Look at that. It looks good, but the bull bar actually like adds protection. So it's probably smart to, you know, keep it on the car, but it's going to be a little bit annoying with the fresh paint on this thing. It's going to look incomplete thing is rough as guts as you can see we'll have to definitely rectify that issue oh your dog <laughs> fucking <laughs> i love that feature press the lock button and i won't do it again all right they're gonna go mess around and i'm gonna edit this video this video should be up tonight so this is actually live time thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see more tough rig content on the 89 patrol then hit subscribe and uh give the video a like if you enjoyed it super stoked with this car i can't stop smiling and you guys seem to love it just as much as i do so yeah see you guys later hey guys Today I'm going to be showing you my Nissan Patrol GQ Y60 TB42 Carby.